Mr. Eric Carlson Baldry. It's only Eric Carlson. I'm gonna <laughs> change the name Baldry. I, I wanted to change it like four years ago, but I got lazy and didn't do it. But it's gonna happen. I'm gonna try the black one that Emil kind of created for me. Seems like you're creating boulders for me all the time. And it's really nice. <laughs> um, right now I have my warm-up shoes on. And uh, it's like, there are a few sizes too big. Perfect warm-up. So I'm not gonna give it a flash try. Because I feel like, if, if I feel like maybe I can flash go, it won't be so much fun. I wanna yeah. work in the moves, get it right, find the balance. Enjoy the And process. just enjoy it. Tell, you can say, tell us in the comment if you want us to always go for the flash go, or if you feel like working the moves, get us to understand it, and then execute. Yeah, I guess I should try the moves. Is there any specific move you're like, okay, that I want to see Eric on? The cross, uh, yeah. there's a big hole in the middle, and I want to see you do the feet, feet. feet transfer over to the right. Okay. That's what I'm curious about, if you can do. And then it's like, right here, and then toe hook. Yeah. And then you got that cream, and then you go left, yeah? Yeah. Up to that one. Yeah. Oh, I'm not good with those, like, switching over to another side. Was that the, the right way to do it? Um, ish. You, want, you have to step up with the left foot first. So you step up from that to that? Yeah. And then you do... And then you cross the left hand up into the, the big hole. Okay. And then swing the right foot over. I don't think I'm... I, I will do the left crossover. Okay. Because I'm really weak in the core and the obliques. So when I'm gonna do like a, a bendy move like that, mm. it's, I would never do it naturally. Okay. I would go right, right, keep mm. the left hand low and then you swing over the foot. So I can get compression instead, instead of being uh, here. We'll see if I change it, but well, my natural instinct is that yeah. I'll do that. Okay, now I see why you want the left hand there. Yeah. Because it's kind of hard to match it. But it felt really easy to do it my way. So if I think, if I do that with the intention of matching, because I kind of didn't think about it this time, I think it's doable. So I'm thinking if I should try uh, the original aim is better with the obliques and body tension kind of move, which I'm not good at. doesn't feel easier. But I, I kind of like to try it to see how much work I have to do to do that move. Okay, let's, let's try your sequence. <laughs> you see, uh, like I'm over tensing. Yeah, that was because my because my core can't move move yeah. me to where I need to be. So I try to like pull with my back and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I've started training core. It's, I'm making progress, but I'm quite a bit behind Emil and Nick and I would say. So I rarely can do their core beta, but it felt good. So I think if I train it in, uh, it could be good. Let's uh, let's go with that beta. Let's see if I can b become a bit better today, a bit stronger. <laughs> We had a theory that that could be kind of cruxy with the balance because that crimp that you go through, that you're holding on the box, Terrible. isn't very good. And your balance is kind of off. This, it looks like it's underneath you, but since the right hand is so bad, you're relying a lot on the left hand. So when you do that crossover move, it's hard to be in control. So then because I'm not in control, my balance goes haywire again, like we did on the yellow. Uh, but this time it's not to a pocket, it's to kind of good crimp. It's interesting. I haven't done that move since the balance when it's like... <laughs> I want to have like a good answer to that problem. I'm going to think about it a bit more and then see what I come to. Mr. Rude. <laughs> Emil is here talking the combine and I'm like, okay, we got to film here. Yeah, but he's, he's more interesting. Do you think that you and the guys look like brothers? Oh, do we? Yeah. Wait, Wait let's yeah, try this. I'm, I'm going to use my new gimbal function. Baba? It's me. Huh? <laughs> Okay, back to Eric. Yeah. I always mistake him for you, actually. 
<laughs> yeah. So. Come on. Ooh. Core tension of doom. Yeah, come in. Come in, You gotta stand on the higher one. Oh. Gonna stand on the high one. That one. Woo. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I think I did. Good. I, yeah, if, I mean. You broke the balance move. Yeah, because you, Emma told me maybe you could pinch it, and yeah. I'm not a very good pincher, but it felt a lot better. You can mm. take the pinch and squeeze it with the last and kind of go mm. control. But I, I thought the next one was gonna be once you, I thought once I reached that, I thought the ball was over. But it's actually like when you get here, it's so much compression. And then you have to break, I don't know. I think mm. that for, that's the hardest move so far. Maybe. Um, so that's interesting. Mm. It's, it's, it's kind of classic, you know, you're like, you think you've done the Crocs, you think you're home, and then you realize that's like the hardest move left. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy with the obliques thing. It really works on the court to like, th really think about it. Mm. And then also I had to, I have to kick the foot out fast. Yeah. Cause I have like two seconds that I don't have <laughs> it anymore. So I need a high foot and like kind of lay back on it. But uh, that's the the left hand is crimpy. Mm. I have to full crimp it. Like, damn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll brush the holes a bit. Go for red point burn and then try to keep it together to the end. Man, I miss having my own brush. I keep losing slash people taking my brush. Mm -hmm. And so I haven't had a brush for like two months now. This guy cruising. Come on, Eric. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ooh, it's so fingery up there. And I was kind of losing it a bit. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Because. The hole looks really good, and you, it's kind of like the dangerous one when they, it kind of in cut cream, so you can pull really hard on them. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna rest five minutes and have like a proper discussion with myself because I haven't felt this much pressure in the fingers in a while. Like you know when you feel it and you're like, should I go another go actually, or should I save it, get a bit stronger? In the red. Mm. Oh my god! I, I kind of just wanted to go for it, but Emmett told me that he did kind of drop me kind of thing, and I just want to get better because this time I was more focused. So I wanted, I wanted to do it proper. I didn't want it to aggro, but mm. I don't, I don't think you went that deep with your drop knee, maybe. No, I, I kept, I, I kept I, hitting the red one. Yeah, because I popped the drop knee when I got to the hole. Yeah, I think maybe the like dynamic one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I felt there with the balance that it wasn't mm. as good as I wanted it to be when I was going. Mm. So it's like, can I do it even better? Mm. Damn, it's hard now. <laughs> it is really hard now. Let's uh, rest for a couple of minutes, try something else, and then see if we can get back on it. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. <coughs> Hello, friend. Hello. Uh, so Cordelia has built uh, a sloper pinch problem. Compression, I would say. With the holes that used to be on my old project, the purple holes. And my wrist is okay, it's never perfect. So I was thinking, I wanna try some of the moves just to if I can get motivated. Cause I looked at it, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna even spend my time on those things. But I, at least I should try some moves and then maybe I get psyched mm. and then we'll see what happens. So it starts here, but I'm just gonna try it from this part in the middle cause that's where the crux is. And it's gonna be properly hard. <laughs> Okay. okay. Did you get the bicycle in? I couldn't, like, when you take the pinchy small holes, mm. it's so hard to even hold it, so I can't even, I can't even think about anything else. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm just not strong enough in a pinch to do it. Mm. 
obviously if I train it in, maybe squeeze it 30 times, I get better. I don't, I don't want to spend my time on that today. But I definitely want to try the rest of the moves. Hmm? Go for it. Because if I could do like 50% of the moves, that's that's nice. Yeah. Like, I went there, I'm like, where the hell am I supposed to go? <laughs> the right toe and then match the left one and then go shoulder out to the left. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That's why that's why you should think of beta before you start <laughs> climbing. Okay. I'll I'll run up and try the toe beta. The proper one. Proper one. The proper one. <laughs> okay, I, <laughs> I need to get stronger basically if I'm gonna do that or chafe them. Uh, but it was super nice. I've been training my toques, okay. and maybe this isn't like the hardest toque in the world, but it, it felt good for me. Felt really good. And I weighed it also, and the finger feels a lot better now. Mm, nice. So I'm gonna give it another try on the bike because now we've been soul searching and. <laughs> it's always hard, you know, when I say I'm gonna do it. I'm not. I'm gonna do my last. Be safe. But the finger feels completely fine now. So then I. I don't know. There, then I should try it. <laughs> it's a Was classic. That one of those points. <laughs> yeah, but now it's like, oh, I'm gonna be so precise, and it felt really good. Yeah. But I like I found everything in the bag that was really good. But then I, I lost the foot because of it. Yeah. I still think it was a win though, because I found a better squeeze in the back than before. Yes squeezed a bit more than I should have. Damn it. I know the ghost looks worse now, but it's not. Like, <laughs> I'm finding a better squeeze in the back and this, the level of tightness that I find in the back now, if I can keep my feet, it's easy to keep it throughout the next few moves. <laughs> it, could, it could use a brush as well. I want to do the drop knee and make it really nice, but the drop knee is it's, it's nicer, but I had to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it with the balance, but I just had to do it. And luckily it's a better hole than I thought it was. Mm. But you can see in the beginning now, I think in the video, that it did all the moves better. Because it was a bit hard on myself. I, kept, I lost... I'm speaking fast. Because <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I lost the feet a few times just to find the right amount of pressure in the back. They would make the next moves better. And that's, that's always the key, to like find the tension that is really good, that you can keep mentally, and then adjust the feet to it. Mm. Especially in overhangs, that would be my pro tip. I don't know, what, what, what are we on now? It'd be cool to see you on like your next project. This purple scene like you might not do a video on, right? Yeah, the, I think the purple is like future project, because yeah. it was recently built. And I did a session ago on a sloper. Mm. I haven't spent many years on a sloper, just one session, yeah. and I paid the price of it. So Let's, let's do a quick uh, uh, finish on the blue project that I sent for you. I just want to see how the moves look today, the one we had in the last episode, in the beginning. Man, you want to throw me out on the yeah, creepiest yeah, yeah, eight yeah, days yeah, when yeah. I already had like not the highest confidence in my fingers today? I'm not saying I'm a good friend, I'm just saying... <laughs> I mean, I, I, it's going to be the same position as last time. Okay. No, nothing has changed, my friend. Okay. But if you want to see me suffer, then yeah, so let's go do it. I, I can't even let go of my feet, man. Come on, come on, come on. I can't even let go of that foot. It will set me proper hard. I mean, if I do this, and I know I'll have a good chance of Jack's Broken Heart. Because the <laughs> first time I tried Jack's Broken Heart, the moves, I think it's so, the kind of the crux moves. I wasn't in good shape and I can hang in all those positions. I cannot hang in these positions. <laughs> I cannot move from these positions. <laughs> so I mean, I'm excited to try it. Mm. I'm happy they even built it for me. 
And I'm sorry that I can't do more moves than I, I can't actually let go one foot on the mat. Yeah. On the mat. <laughs> okay. It's actually it's that far away. And that's a 7C start. Yeah. There's an 8A start as well. Yeah. So that would be road to 8A plus episode 7 maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I could show you a pink upstairs super fast that I've tried back and forth. It's completely anti-style. I tried it the other day and I felt absolutely trashed. Yeah. It's balancing on crimps and you have to have good hips and stuff. Okay. Have you talked about this one in the previous? Episode? No. We can, we can move on. No, I, I kind of said it for my videos. How long ago was it built? Uh, like six weeks. Six weeks ago? So six weeks ago my balance was really bad. And I, I tried it and it was super hard. But I'm like, okay, I thought like once the balance get better, I'll do it. But it's been on my mind. And then the other day I came and my balance was really bad that day. And I couldn't do the first move. Mm. And today I was like, oh, as I just said earlier, like let's just try it today. And then a few steps up <laughs> to the problem. Amy told me like it's going, it's away, it's going away on Monday, which is in like three days, which means I have one more session left to do it. Mm. I said that I was just going to show you, but I'll give it a try and, and see. Yeah. Because it, it, it's very crimpy and it has chossy feet and you have to have strong, strong hips and move on those chossy feet. Mm. Come here, Eric. Come here, Eric. Come here, Eric. Hold it up there. I wanted to go left, but I felt like my fingers was um, not where it's supposed to be. So I was like, maybe, maybe jump right and hold it. And I jumped a bit too high, so I like everything was off. Have you gotten that far before? No, because I've tried to do it with the hip, because you're supposed to stand like this when you go out left. So you do like the boom, boom, left. But I felt like I'm not going to be able to do it with the balance. So I had to like lock it and just, and just go. Mm. I'll give it one more try. Then I've had a good session for the fingers. Yep. <sighs> it's a good day though. It's a really good day. I'm okay, like, I gave it my best. Hopefully I can get this one before I reset on Monday. Mm. But I'm also okay if I don't get it. I uh, did a lot better than I thought. And this time I really squeezed the ass. It <laughs> felt good. Mm. <sighs> um, yeah, I guess that's the end of this episode. It's a bit, it's quite a lot of talking. And I hope that's okay. It's been a lot of fun. And I hope you guys have a good day and that you continuously have good days. I don't know how the climbing gyms in the world looks like, but I hope everyone can go climb, make some progress. And hopefully next year I'll see a lot more of your faces since hopefully then we can travel and do the things that we wanted to do. Have a good one. And thank you, Yemi, for filming. Thanks for being here. Peace out. <laughs>